All right, so this will be a really quick video uh, showing how to get assets from Halo stuff. And uh, what you want to do is get Reclaimer, install it, and you can get your themes and your tools, uh, your settings set up how you want. You're going to want to download uh, the .map files for whatever game you want. And for certain games, there are very specific ones that you're going to need. So let's say like uh, Halo 3, you're going to need the fonts folder, the info folder, you're going to need campaign, main menu, and shared. Uh, once you have those mandatory files, you go and get the dot map that you want to rip from. Uh, let's say we want to rip from the pit. It'll open up after a bit. There's going to be a ton of folders. Uh, you won't really need to focus on most of these. Bitmaps has all the bitmaps uh, for this specific map. Mostly weapons stuff, decals for stuff. Uh, we got to go to render underscore model, and this will show you uh, a ton of things that are on the map. Like this bird, for example, is on the pit. If you click in this blue window and remove your mouse, you can rotate your camera. And if you use WASD, you can actually move around it. And then spacebar, I think maybe it's E, F, R. Okay, R is going up. F is goes down. Hold shift. It'll go faster, so you can maneuver around really quickly. Um, really easy. Uh, let's say you want to find... Let's see here. Let's get like a barrier, right? You, got, you want this barrier. Uh, here you'll see all these different instances of it. So you can deselect it. Let's say you want the base model without any damage on it. You can download this one. Click the export selected geometry button. And that'll grab everything you have selected. And then next you'll want to export the bitmaps, which are just all the textures on the model. And once you put them all in the same folder, uh, you should be able to load them up in Blender, depending on what format you're using. Uh, if you want it to be a little bit more damaged, you can just select the minor form. There'll be little chunks taken out. Uh, same with the uh, medium. And some models just don't have this at all. so. Uh, this is a lot easier to rip from, so let's say I want to grab this, right? I'll do this, I'll go to, uh, ignore my messy ass desktop here. There. I'll dump it in here. Export that thing there. Textures go in the same folder. We'll open up Blender. Uh, let me open up a new one. Here. Sure. I should have done this earlier, but oh well. There we go. All right, so we got a new Blender. Come on, Blender. Crappy laptop here. Alright, we'll go to File, Import. I used AMF, so I'm just going to use AMF. Um, I believe I put it in Halo 3 stuff. Uh, Jersey Barrier. I'll import this. And my PNG, my textures are in PNG format. So I'll load it up. Turn on texture mode, and bam. Here it is in here. And I can go and I can move each segment if I want to. Or I can select the whole dang thing and shift it, rotate it, whatever. And you can do this with BSPs or the map files. Uh, you can do this with all sorts of different things. Uh, let's say you want to grab uh, the map itself or whatever. Uh, you can close this out. To do here, you're going to want to find for the map stuff, you want a scenario structure BSP. And it'll take a little bit depending on what game you're trying to load. Like let's say Reach and Halo 4 will take forever. To open the BSP for, but once you got it, you can load it up here. And then let's say, for some reason, it kind of breaks when you try to select certain things. If I wanted just the Pelican, that'll uh, have an issue ripping. So I usually just grab it all at once by using the uh, double floppy disk icon. Uh, let's say I want to. I already grabbed this earlier, but I'll use this as an example again here. So I'll save, model with this, 
and then I'll grab this here over here and then once that's done we'll go and open it up with this here come on now uh, gonna go blender import AMF here find our folder import here make sure we select the correct bitmap and then it should take a little bit and then it'll pop in here come on blender there we go okay and now here you'll see it's thrown it all into here and obviously there's some uh, texture issues you're gonna have to go into shading and fix yourself but uh, if you wanted a certain thing like uh, I don't know why you'd want it but if you wanted these lights for example you just click these lights here and uh, copy and paste them somewhere or uh, move them to somewhere to a different uh, blend file uh, or select everything else but this and delete it so you just have the light or whatever you want to do um, but that's how you grab instances from the uh, environment uh, and that's essentially it and I might make another video uh, if anything changes so good luck